just a moment. Okay, I was in Athens today. I was invited by the European Trade Unions Confederation, but that was a very good opportunity to get some impressions on the ground. You know, Greece has been so much in the news of late, well, actually uh, for a couple of years now, uh, undergoing probably one of the most severe crises that we are watching in the Eurozone. And understanding it is really something that we need to do, because seen from Brussels, sometimes you fail to grasp the reality of the country. And of course, the concerns that we have is first, that indeed Greece finds a way out of the crisis, finds a way to establish its, its economy and its society on a more stable and, and sustainable basis, but also that this is being done in a socially just way. And this is probably the biggest concern. We know, and that was confirmed in the, uh, in the interview we had today with uh, the, the, uh, the Deputy Minister for Finances, that there is a strong problem on the income side of the equation. It's not li li like that Greece is outspending everyone in Europe. Actually, Greece is rather under collecting in, ter in terms of uh, taxation income. And we know that changing that is not an easy thing to do. Of course, there may be things that need to be changed in the tax code, but you need to have an administration that really goes after tax evasion and tax fraud. And this will require some effort. I had some comfort after meeting the minister that they are seriously intended on doing that, but we will see, time will tell us whether that delivers. Another aspect is, of course, setting Greece's economy on a more uh, robust founding. It's, it's true that Greece lost in competitiveness and uh, Greece has been actually uh, uh, running a uh, uh, current account deficit for years now. But actually, it never really uh, booked a surplus. And transforming Greece's economy is something uh, that will take even more time than establishing the tax income on a sound basis. On that, I'm not sure that I'm already convinced that uh, the Greek government has got it, uh, its act together. Of course, it's not an easy question to answer, but how can we uh, establish Greece's economy on a more sure foot footing, uh, probably by greening it quite, cons quite, quite sustainably, uh, for instance, in the agriculture uh, field, in the tourism side, how can we really make uh, this a competitive advantage of Greece, uh, I have yet really to see a compelling story from, uh, from the Greek government. Now, what I expressed to, uh, to the Deputy Minister is also the solidarity of the Greens across Europe. I mean, Greens are the only family, political family, that has consistently supported the rescue packages put together by the European government, well, by the European Union, but voted in the various parliaments. I wanted to convey that sense of solidarity and that doesn't mean that we accept everything that the Greek government is doing, far from it, but we also know that we all, as Europeans, have a vested interest in having Greece succeed. And this is uh, not yet a done deal, but uh, the, the Greeks can count on at least the European Greens to be alongside, uh, on their side in, in, in doing that. So this is really the message that uh, I wanted to convey and I think that uh, the message registered. So I will be back to Greece uh, to continue this dialogue. Okay. Thank you.